Thank you guys for joining me in my bathroom. Today, I'm just going to get ready and talk to you guys about a few things, encourage, uplift myself, as well as I'm going to try to do those same things for you. No particular order, just like when I put my makeup, makeup, because you guys don't really wear makeup all like that, but it's not going to be any particular order. So don't judge me, but I'm just going to talk to you and hang out with you before I start my day out. Um, and I want to share a couple things with you. Um, first off today it is Tuesday. So I go back to work tomorrow. I had to think about it. I've been off for a few days, but, um, I'm going to go to the bank and ask a few questions and, um, look at some different things and see what's available to me, what I need to work on and all that good stuff. So in doing that, you know, you got to put your big girl pants on cause they may tell you may think you have everything in the bag and then they may tell you, you need to work on this. You need to get that together. So that's what my day is going to consist of today. But I wanted to talk to you guys about being in that season where you're quiet. And the reason I want to talk to you guys about that, I'm going to get to it. But I want to share this quote with you from um, Michelle Obama, Quotes to Live By. And this is one of the things that I got. I showed you guys um, that I got for Christmas, the gifts I didn't think I wanted or needed, but turned out to be the very things I needed and wanted. Well, I posted this on my Facebook page and anytime I post something, I underline it. I know you can't see because of the glare, but I will take a picture of it and show you. Um, and the quote was choose people who lift you up, find people who make you better. And that is so true. But I also said there will be a season. No one is telling you all those things. You, you will feel like no one is lifting you up and telling you how great and amazing you are. And there's a reason for that. In my opinion, I feel like it's a grooming season that God is doing within you, me, you, me. And I say that because we all know this is spiritual. We probably heard it a million times at church, but sometimes things you hear at church really doesn't resonate with you until they affect you personally and you can see it and feel and you know, that is God working in me. So I'm saying all that to say, there's going to be a time that no one's cheering you on. No one's telling you how great and wonderful you are. And it's not because you're not, it's that season that you're pouring into you. You're figuring out what do you love about yourself? What do you like about yourself? Do you like and love yourself? Like you want everyone else to like and love yourself and social media in, uh, in general, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever's out there that can be a good, uh, deflection from reality for certain people. And I'm going to share this, um, it's not a quote, but this guy I used to talk to years and years, and years ago, he said something to me then that didn't make sense, but now it makes all the sense. I remember him saying, you know, you're beautiful, but you don't believe it. And at that time I'm thinking to myself, well, how can I know it? And I don't believe it very easily because you can know it based off of everyone else telling you, but when it gets time for you to look inside and, and, and love everything about yourself, that is the moment of truth. Do you really love yourself? Do you like yourself? Do you love and like yourself based off of what everyone else says? And if that's the case, that's sad because the minute they be quiet and they stop telling you all those great, wonderful, beautiful things that keeps you fueled, that's going to be where you crash and burn, especially if you wrap how they love and feel about you in their words, because people are fickle. They'll say one thing one minute and the next minute they won't. Not that you need to take it personal, but you always got to be solid in what you love and know and believe about yourself. Cause once you know, and love it and believe it, then everything else will follow. So getting off of that little kick. So your girl has been using the Rihanna stuff. So, um, the fat water. Oh, real quick. I know I'm skipping around the soap that I use that I didn't show you guys on camera. This is what I wanted to mention, but I forgot to. When you twist it, it doesn't come off. It's got this little hole in here. So you just pour it in your hand so you don't make a mess. So I thought that was really cute and I forgot to mention it. Um, and the fat water I do like, like I said, it does have that, that, um, that sticky feeling or whatever, but it's nothing that you can't wash off. Um, uh, but to somebody else, it may not bother them. But for me, like I said, I, I could do without feeling that tacky feeling on my fingers. But anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna come over here and look in my mirror. So yeah, and your girl got her hair braided. You know, it's been a minute. Shout out to Porky. That's her nickname. I'm not really sure she want her real name out there. So we'll just keep it as that. But she did. She did do it. And you know, I shared with you guys that I uh, suffer from traction alopecia from wearing 
two tight hairdos, weaves, braids, you name it. These are not tight at all. Very light, very delicate. She did her thing with these. Um, so yeah, I do like the fat water and I'm going to use a moisturizer because I didn't use a moisturizer and put it on my hand. I didn't use a moisturizer the night that um, I was doing this with you guys because I didn't see the point in putting a moisturizer when I was getting ready to go to bed, but because I'm going to be out, um, and the sun is out, it's not going to hurt me to use it today because it has an SPF in it, which is the whole point of wearing it in the sun to begin with. And like I said, if you just want extra moisture on your face when you go to bed, clearly this isn't going to kill you to put it on. But for me, it just did not seem like it was something I needed to put on when I was getting ready to go to sleep. So to me, it makes more sense to do it now since I'm going to be out in the sun. But again, going back to getting in that season where no one's saying anything to you is very vital because... It, it not only strengthens you, it, it brings awareness to why you shouldn't get caught up with what everyone is saying. And I'm going to share an example. I don't want anybody to take this personally if you know me, but I'm just using this as an example. Okay. When I put out my t-shirts or whatever, I did not put my t-shirts out expecting millions of people to blow my phone up, knock my door down to get a t-shirt. Much like I didn't have that same expectation when I started my podcast or my YouTube video. Now, granted, do you want people to look? Do you want people to, you know, buy into what you're selling and tune into you and hear what you're saying? Because we all motivate and want to inspire someone. But you have to do it on the inside. You have to make sure you are following your own advice. You're taking your own words and you're empowering yourself like you're trying to empower, empower everyone else. So when I put out my T-shirts, I'm not going to lie to you. I can count on one hand how many people actively click like, click love. Now, that's not conducive to the people that are really and have really shown me love and the purchases. It's unmatched when it comes to those numbers that I'm looking at. But if I was really caught up in that, that would make me say, I'm not putting another shirt out. I'm not selling another shirt. I'm not doing anything. But see, when I realized I was doing it for me, it was a goal that I wanted to achieve. It was something I wanted to do. It was in my heart. It didn't matter if one person bought a shirt or if no one bought a shirt. If I had to buy all my shirts, I was willing to invest in me because I know that I'm worth it. I wasn't going to wait for someone to buy a shirt for me. I bought a couple myself just because I liked them. And when I say a couple, I bought a black and white, um, balanced boldness and birth shirt. And I bought the every Ray living, uh, brick shirt for myself. And then I just ordered me two more shirts for myself. Now, the people who have ordered shirts for me has far succeeded the number of shirts that I've ordered for myself, but I don't have a problem with buying for myself. I don't have a problem with buying for other people, but if I was really into just doing that, so everyone else can love and like it, then I'm in it for the wrong reason. Now, granted, if you are selling something and it is your livelihood and it pays your bills, yes, you do need to see a return on that. You know, you don't want to just be, you know, not even breaking even. You're not even scratching the surface of what you're trying to do. I get it. You know what I mean? You're not trying to sell something for free because then you're not selling it. You're giving it away. By the end of the day, you have to make sure what you're doing, you're doing it from in here because then you'll see the reward and you'll feel it. And then when you're doing it from here, everything that you want and you need will follow. And in my season, I'm learning so many things um, about myself, about business, about people in business that is, I couldn't pay for that because I'm in that season where God is like, I, I, I don't even want you getting caught up in that. It's bigger than that. People will build you up and they'll tear you down. You need to be solid and secure with who you are, no matter what, because they're not always going to tell you, Hey girl, Hey dude, you killing it. I want to support you. Sometimes when we hear that cliche, you got to be your own cheerleader. It's the truth. My beauty blender. Remember I told you this wasn't my favorite one because it's not broken in enough. I don't feel like digging through my makeup box for, um, for it, for my, um, orange one. So we're going to use this one. But yeah, I'm not going to put on a whole bunch of makeup because I'm not really going to wear special, but I just wanted to, um, halfway look cute. Cause you know, when you get your hair done, 
you just want to kind of step your game up a little bit. But again, I just wanted to share that with you and encourage you not to get caught up on what people aren't saying. That's a season for you to get caught up with you. That's the time for you to start telling yourself you're great. You're wonderful. You're the bomb. And no one else tells you because we do get caught up with what people say. You know, we'll post a picture on Facebook and see if a thousand people is going to like it. Not all of us, but some of us. But sometimes you got to post something. If it's on your part heart to post it, post it. And you can't worry about if 55 people like it or if one person like it. Because here's the reality. Ain't nobody on Facebook blind. They see it even if they're not saying it. But anyways, I know. I'm being petty, but it's the truth. That's why you can't get caught up on that. Because if you do, you it's like a endless battle. You'll never win it. And I wasn't trying to be pun, punny, funny. I was just keeping it real. Cause you know why? I'm not saying nothing. You don't know. And you haven't heard. I'm just encouraging you because I've been there, done that. And I'm just trying to explain to you why it's important not to get caught up in that. The picture is bigger than if somebody like what you're doing, if they like what you're saying, because nothing's new under the sun. We're all encouraging somebody to do something. I'm just doing it this way because I'm not a celebrity. I'm not famous. I don't got all this money, but I'm just like somebody sitting on the other side of the camera wanting to know, can I do this? Should I do this? Do I need to have this? Do I need to have that? Do I need to be skinny before I get on here? Do I have to have braces? Do I have to, do I need to lose a hundred pounds before I do it? No, because if you wait for all those things, it's never going to happen. And my friend always told me that I won't say her name on here, but she always told me that. What are you waiting for? Well, because yeah, keep waiting. You'll still have that same reason of why you didn't do it. So the moral of the story is be your own cheerleader and do you. And like I said, with balance in boldness, birth, what you're called to do, because you just can't jump out into the world with no balance, with no um, plan of action of what you're going to do when you get out there. So you do need to make sure you are utilizing um, positive strategies. You know, you need a um, plan of action. You know what I mean? A POA. So you just can't be jumping off into something and not have a plan for what you're doing. You have to do that because otherwise it'll be a bridge to nowhere. And who wants that? So make sure you are um, getting some legwork done before you go off. Like for me, I'm going to the bank to ask a few questions to figure out some things. So I've been in my quiet time, figuring out what I need to do. Some of my, um, downfalls, some of my mistakes I've made over the years financially rectify a good portion of them. Now I'm going to go to the bank to find out, have they paid off? Where, where am I at? If I want to, um, do a certain thing. So that's what I'm saying. Don't let when people, this is my Rihanna, um, highlighter. I know I'm probably not going to use it the way you guys think I should use, especially my makeup gurus, but your girl is doing it how it works for her. I'm just going to put it up here. So, um, I'm going to go and see, and I'm allowing myself when there wasn't a time I would do this. I would not let nobody tell me none about my finances because I was too embarrassed. I was too embarrassed to say, Oh yeah, I had a whole bunch of credit cards and didn't think I'd have to ever pay them. And then Lord behold, here comes the credit bills and you know, you got to pay them because nothing is free. But when you're young and I can say dumb for me, you don't recognize that, you know, you, you're not paying attention to, you really do got to pay that money back or you do got to pay that credit card off. And I've learned the hard way with some things. That's why I'm able I'm not a financial guru by any means, but I can tell some people what not to do with their money because I've made that mistake. So some of y'all don't have to. And I tell Jada that all the time, you know, there are certain mistakes in life. You, you, you don't have to make, I've made them for you. And, and I tell her that, especially with credit and, um, budgeting, even though I'm not a big budgeter and I, you know, cross my T's and dot my eyes on that because your girl do need to still work on budgeting because if I want something, if it's not in my budget, I'm making it fit in the budget, but I don't like that because you know, when I really do need something or want something, you know what I mean? I do have to think back to, did you really need to buy that at that time? And then I do pull back and I don't buy it because I'm thinking ahead. Like you already bought that when you shouldn't have. So now you need to pause. And that's what I tell her. Don't get caught up in buying stuff that you want. My grandmother had this saying, don't buy what you want and then beg for what you need. And who, who don't do that? 
somebody has done that at one point in time. It may not be to a dis- the, the, li- the literal sense of you begging, but you may have bought something that you could have waited on. And then when you really do need something, now you're scrambling trying to get that one thing you really could have waited off on. But that one thing you need, that's what you're scrambling and trying to rob Peter to pay Paul to get. It's an expression. So all I'm saying is we, we've all made mistakes. We all get caught up. But in that season where no one's saying anything to you, and this is my L um, highlighter. I'm going to put some on my nose because I don't feel like digging for my KK. W um, highlighter that I put on my nose when I'm feeling like I want to put some makeup on. Um, we all get caught up in that. I'm just telling you, um, I kind of lost where I was going with that. I'm just telling you not to, because we all, we all know. And Jada is 18 and she's about to graduate and go off into the world. So some mistakes she's going to make because she's human. But like I've told her, there are certain things you don't have to do because they've already been done for you. So if you don't take anything away from this video is don't get caught up in what no one's saying, what no one is doing, because there's a reason, there's a reason for it. And the reason is to better you position you for a better you. So with that being said, you guys have a great day. Make sure you submit your entry. They're coming in and I've gotten so many of them that I'm getting nervous because it's challenging me to do things that I haven't done and ordinarily wouldn't do. So just stay tuned and good luck to you guys. I hope whoever is supposed to win, you win and keep those uh, entries coming. And till the next time you guys be safe.